Hey guys, been a long time since I gave you a video, but this one seems appropriate. There's been quite a few videos out there about how to separate your black sand and your gold. So I've got a few different things here, and uh, you may be surprised. Uh, it's not nearly as expensive or, or labor intensive or even as time consuming as you may think. So stick around and uh, show you guys that it's uh, not as expensive or as uh, difficult as you may think. Alright, so here we are at, uh, for a bit of scale, okay? I've got a uh, little bit of sand. I'm just going to draw out just a few grains of black sand here. Now we're going to place a American penny. And I've got a, uh, an engineer's scale here that calls out 64ths of an inch. All right. Yeah. Lay that right across a few grains just so that it's there. All right. Now we're at 2x, and we're just going to zoom in a bit. We're at about 8x right now. So there we are with scale. There's our penny. And our engineering rule. Let that focus a second. So you can see how small this is in relation to the coin, everything else. People do have a difficult time with separating this material. And that's, that's nothing against them. It's pretty difficult and it takes a practiced hand. Is it something you can learn? Oh yeah. Yeah, you can, you can learn how to do this. It's not very hard. It just takes a, takes a little bit of time, a little bit of practice. Now there are devices and tools you can use, and I'm going to show you a couple of those. So this is the black sand that you might find uh, in a few places. Um, some people may be going, gee, I wish I could find black sand like that. Yeah, I know. Not everybody can be me. I'm special. I find cool stuff in great places. Now that's, that's typically what you're going to find. Um, you'll take... Uh, a sample of that or a bucket if you're allowed and uh, we we got a sample that was about a five gallon bucket and I ran it through a sluice and I'll show you what I do to get there but this is the concentrate and what we have is uh, just just in a you know recovery pan but this is everything that came off of the uh, the concentrating sluice that we used for this fine gold. It's uh, probably a half a cup of material out of a five gallon bucket. Maybe a cup if I'm being generous. So let's take a look at that and uh, I'll show you how it comes together and, and this is kind of stuff that you can find. There's no mysterious efforts here. So we just basically have a, uh, a bucket recovery sluice. There's a pump in here, recirculating pump. It goes off to a sluice. There's some sluice matting in here. We've got some little clamps to hold the sluice matting down. And underneath it is a, uh, is a rubber sheet. It's, uh, it's just for uh, cleaning fine gold and we'll explain how that happens in a, in a second but it's just uh, a recirculating sluice nothing too complex hey it's one of the black magic fine gold recovery ones I replaced the uh, the pad in here a very long time ago and uh, I just put my mat in here now you're going to see that there's an awful lot of people who spend an awful lot of money on sluice mats. 
when we get to the cleaning up of the, the gold, you're going to see just exactly how small and how fine that gold is. And the only thing that I used was a cheap industrial mat. This isn't even sluice matting. This is just an industrial rubber mat. That's all it is. Nothing too complex. In fact, it's so janky and so put together. This is strapping. It's a little piece of wood. The only thing it's doing is holding that matting down. A couple of C-clamps just keeps it in place. Guess what? Nobody cares. You're not competing with anybody. Really. Second you're competing with your neighbors, it stops being fun. So, that's it. We ran, uh, well, you can see how much is left in, in the bucket there. That was just about our sample size. This was some tailings that I pulled out just to show you what, what kind of sand we're working with. And it's, it's not bad, it's just it takes an awful long time. So I'm going to set the camera down. I'm going to get a nice tight shot of this. We even zoom on the... Alright, so I'm going to pop it in up here. You're going to see that go on. Now do you see how slow that's moving? I'm going to get a little tighter on that for you so that you can see just how long it takes for even a teaspoon to get across this. You can watch it oh. flare up and down, sort of flare out as it goes down. And all that material is filling up the little rubber matting. And as the water passes over it, the little bits of quartz, you're going to see little bits of quartz in here, quartz and maybe little bits of jasper or you know, could even be some uh, some of the smaller gem uh, sands that that occur along the beach, garnet and whatnot. All of that'll slowly wash out until you've got nothing but the heaviest of the black sand, and then you clean your mat. All right, so we've taken the mat off, and I've got a uh, just regular paintbrush here. And I took a uh, just a drop of of dish soap, and I went back and forth across the mat. Now I'm gonna little circular motions, right? You know, and you just want to get it clean from your last use. So I'm just gonna brush this off and make sure that everything's well off of it. Okay, so you can sort of see there's a uh, a bit of a texture to it, right? It's it's really quite subtle. I'm gonna go to that uh, adjusting knob that you saw earlier, and I'm gonna really turn the flow down. I just want it to be. Just barely moving. All right. Now we're going to test this with a little bit of that material that we started with. All right. That's the uh, that's the black sand that we uh, we ran through that mat. Watching that go. I just want to see how fast it's moving. Right? That's all. 
All I'm interested in seeing is just how fast it's moving down this map. That's it. You just want to want to watch it and test it with a little bit of material. Now that'll tell you about your flow and if that's uh, if that's something you can stay on top of while cleaning up material, great. But if it seems like it's uh, like it's still moving just a little too fast for your taste, um, then uh, you can slow the water down a little more. I'm gonna pop this back on on the tripod for just a second. I want to slow that down just a little bit more. Now. A little artist brush is going to be really helpful for this. You're also going to need another piece of really super fancy equipment. The snuffer bottle. I know. High tech stuff, guys. So, uh, this, you know, these are like a buck. Most gold prospecting stores. Um, I think this was in a pack of brushes I got from either the dollar store or Walmart, one of the two. It's just a little brush, right? Not super fine bristles, but not stiff either. And uh, that's, that's what you want. So we're gonna take another little, little bit of our, our material here, right? Just gonna pop that on there. And the idea is if you see a piece of gold, you can move it into a pile. Now, that doesn't look very effective until we use some actual concentrates. So, let's do that. I'm just pouring off a little bit of the, the water that's in this uh, in this rectangular green pan that we showed you that had our concentrates in it. And I'm letting it just gently cascade over this in case there is any any floater gold in it. Nothing nothing too complex about that. Just trying to maintain what little material we got. So here we go with the concentrates. We're gonna see if we can get any little gold to show up. You see we got a little you know yeah so we gotta slow it down a little more because our concentrates are so small and so fine that there we go just ever so slight. There we go. And now you can see if there's any gold that's showing up. And we'll just put that on there and let that let that wash a little bit. And then we take our snuffer bottle and see if we can find a piece of gold for you guys to see. So I'm going to try to get it on a piece that I see down there, but this is really fine stuff. It's but there's also an awful lot of concentrate in here, so... The idea of uh, being able to see it is just kind of 
just wash it down and and let it uh, let it go. Sometimes um, the light is such that you really it doesn't pick up that well on camera. And I'm I'm trying to to show you that concept, and it's frustrating. It's like the uh, the principle of demonstrating a broken appliance for the repairman. And essentially what this machine does, zoom back out and you can actually see this in a much better scale. As that material comes across the surface, it's slowly rolled from each of these little sections. And it gives you a chance to... So if you do spot something, you know, going by or at the edge of one of these little little micro riffles, or you spot a little piece right there, like I just did, it's now in the snuffer bottle. You've, you've recovered that piece of gold. And then you just keep on go doing this through the entire entire amount of concentrate that you have left. Now here's another little piece right here at the top and I think if we zoom we can see this one. Uh, let's come out a little bit. See if I'm... It's right there. So really super fine stuff. I mean incredibly fine gold. And that's what that mat captured. All of that incredibly super, super fine gold. Now I'm going to do this uh, and, and refine this down. And then when I get to the very end, I'll kind of show you what, what we got. This could be incredibly tedious to watch. I'm sure if you if you have trouble sleeping this would this would definitely put you right out. So I'm going to go through I'll get all the super fine gold and then I'll put it in a pan that'll kind of give it a little bit more perspective like this uh, green rectangular pan it really shows up well in there. So let me get this run and then uh, when we're down to sort of the last little bit of black sand in the bottom We'll peel that back and and just show you what it looks like, and then we'll we'll try to give you a weight. We'll we'll see how that turns out. So I've got a little piece of gold here, and let's see if you can see it. There's a couple little pieces here. So you just take your now, like I said, they're incredibly fine little pieces of gold there the little guy right there so I'm just gonna go ahead and get those and uh, it's sort of a lather rinse repeat kind of thing I see another little piece showing up and you just uh, take your snuffer bottle and go back and forth across that area and eventually you'll get all of that micro fine gold in your snuffer bottle and a, well, and a little bit of black sand but generally speaking you're gonna you're gonna get all that and then uh, you'll have to manually process some of it but 
eventually you'll get it all. So I'm going to get back to it and uh, we'll see you when we uh, just get ready to finish up. Okay, so we've got our whole uh, pan of concentrate that we had. I'm going to kind of zoom in so that you can see a little bit of this a little better. I'm kind of handheld here because I had to go into the shade. It's a bit of a sunny day. There we go. So there's our our concentrate. You can see a few pieces of gold in it. But what we have to do is peel all that back. So I'm going to very carefully pick up my pan. And you can see probably there's little bits of gold in it. And I'm just going to carefully peel that back. Now it takes a while. You're just going to see little bits of sand slowly walking down. And every now and then, you're going to see some very small micro fine gold. And you're just going to push that back up. All right. This is pretty time consuming. And there is a little bit of a, um, a scuffed up bit on this end and it helps the, the gold stay put while you're rolling the sand. And like I said, this takes a while. It's not a quick or do it, you know, immediately thing. It really does take time. Because if you're too fast about it, you're going to lose gold. And if you're too slow about it, it's going to, you know, eat you alive. Pick a happy medium. Slowly roll it back. It's not a big deal. And all you want to do is just keep on rolling that sand back and push up the gold when you see a little bit fall down onto the your onto this bit here. Whenever you see a, a little piece, just push it back up there. It's okay. You reform that line. Get all that gold together. All right, I know it seems like, you know, an awful lot of effort, and it is. That's why gold is expensive. Because things in life that are worth having require effort, and earning those things also requires effort. So, just slowly work it back, and eventually you'll uh, you'll get down to where you have just your gold. And I'm going to go ahead and do this for a few seconds and uh, pull all this back and then uh, I'll come back when we're when we're all done with that because you don't want nine hours of this. So I finished rolling all that back. And this is our gold result. Some nice flakes, a whole lot of really, really very small, super fine gold. And that's a pretty good result out of, well, a two gallon sample of black sand. So, not bad at all. There's some nice sized little pieces of gold. Well, thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that like uh, uh, button, you know, a little thumbs up. 
hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and uh, well uh, the bell notifications those are great too but thanks for watching guys remember take care of yourselves take care of each other I'm out